You might be wondering why I'm wearing this beautiful ASICS bucket hat. Well, it's because I was at the uh, ASICS Blue Jean Mile event yesterday, uh, but it was an event to uh, support Mental Health Awareness Month uh, to raise funds for NAMI. And what you did is you, you ran around a track for one mile in your blue jeans, and it was all just to bring awareness to mental health awareness. And it was an amazing event. And one of the things they gave us was this amazing bucket hat. Well, anyways, when I was there, I, I got the idea, I said, like, where did ASICs come from? Like, what is their history? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a few fun facts of the history of ASICs. Okay, so just a few fun facts about the start of ASICs. I don't wanna to go too in depth. There's actually a great video, I'm gonna link it up here, that goes through the entire thing. It's only like 11 minutes, but oh man, they do, they do a fantastic job talking about the history of ASICs. And I also went onto the ASICs website to get a few things, so I didn't just come up with this stuff on my own. Um, yeah, so there's a, a couple of references for you to check them out for, your own, for yourself to get a more detailed view of the history of ASICs. But the first thing is, they were, ASICs was founded in 1949 and it was actually called the Onitsuka uh, Company. Uh, Onitsuka, yeah, Onitsuka Company, um, founded by Kihachiro Onitsuka. I might be I'm probably butchering the name, I apologize. Uh, but yeah, he started in 1949, he came back from the war and he pretty much wanted to start a company that helped children become more active. Not a bad reason, right? Yeah. So that was that. And then in 1950, they released a basketball shoe, which I guess at the time was hard to make. But uh, one day, um, he was, it was like 1951, I guess he made a basketball shoe and it wasn't that fantastic. But in 1951, he was eating dinner one day. He looked down and he saw an octopus in his salad. And so they saw the, he saw the tentacles on there and it gave him a, like, like a ding, like an idea. Like, oh my gosh, I could put suction cups on the bottom of these basketball shoes and it'll make them uh, grip better and be a better wear for the person wearing them. So that's how they uh, made their first basketball shoe with the little suction cups on the bottom. That's pretty clever. I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> but next, another fun fact I thought was the stripes. Let me grab a pair of shoes here. The stripes on the side here, they are, you see this four lines. One, two, three, four. That is because each line signi sig uh, signif is, signifies four years. And so at the time they made that, they were in, uh, they, their first shoe came out in 1950, so that was 16 years, and so that was the fourth year in 1966. So each year represents four years, and they ended up just keeping it that way. Um, with that same logo, the same look, which that's awesome. I didn't know about that. Very, very that's uh, interesting. But then in 1969, the Cortez training shoe was released in the United States. That's the first time the United States had their A6 in the United States. But later, it had to be renamed because the first one was called the, it was called the Cortez, and I guess that was um, according to the video that I watched. It Nike already had a Cortez. So they, had to, they went to court and Nike won and they ended up having to change the shoe name to the Tiger Corsair. So that's the story behind that. So in 1977, which is actually a fun year, that's the year I was born, 1977. A lot of cool things happened in 1977, uh, which I'm not gonna talk about here. But anyway, 1977, the birth of ASICS company was finally born because prior to that, it was called uh, three different companies, Onitsuka Company, GTO, and Jalink. So I guess they merged all the companies and they made them ASICs. Uh, but actually the name ASICs is actually a fun story behind that. That is an acronym for a, uh, let me read this, make sure I get it right. The origin of the company name ASICs is the initial, le initial letters of the phrase anima sana incorpore sano. Again, butchering it. By the ancient woman, satire is juvenile. It means if you pray to God, you should pray for a sound mind and a sound body. So the phrase itself is the company's philosophy. The sentiment it expresses is captured in the very name of the company. 
All right, so next, what's the next thing I have to see? Okay, so 1977, the first running shoe was re was uh, released, and it was uh, the Montreal 2 road shoe um, and the Enduro cross country shoes. Uh, because at that time, running became a craze here in, in, L in, in, in America and around the world. So yeah, they had to get on the bandwagon. They had to get those running shoes on, not just for Olympians like they did in the pra past, but actually for the, the, the average guy, the average Joe, like me. Okay, then the, the, the logo, a new promotional logo was unveiled in 1992, and that was with the A, you see right here, I think. Yeah, yeah, the A. 1992 is when that came out. And that was, uh, let's see, that was adopted as a motif intended to express the idea of unlimited speed and dynamis, dynamis, dyna, I'm horrible at these words, dynamism of sports. Its spiral structure evokes how the related businesses all rotate around the axis of the A6 core competence. Then let's move on. The Joe Nimbus 99 came out in 1999. The, 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 the Joe Nimbus performance, uh, which a lot of shoes have, like this one, the, the Joe Nimbus, uh, I think this, this has the Nimbus, Joe. Nimbus has it. I believe it does, but yeah. So the Joe Nimbus was released in 1999. Uh, that was aimed at neutral running shoes for the, uh, the underpronators, expanding the product line of performance running shoes. So yeah, so we're mostly into the Gel Kayano and the GT2000 series. All right, so it became like a long time bestseller. Next is the ASICS Brandmark updated and corporate slogan, Sound Mind, Sound Body was established in 2007. So that was their, their slogan, 2007, Sound Mind, Sound Body. I like it, what do you think? But here's a big one. This is a big landmark for, for ASICs. And this is when the Metaspeed Sky was released. Let's see, Metaspeed Sky and the Metaspeed Edge have each been scientifically designed with distinct type of running style in mind. ASICs has created the Metaspeed Sky for stride type runners and Metaspeed Edge for cadence type runners. Hmm, alrighty. So the, the launch of the Metaspeed Sky and the Metaspeed Edge means that runners were no longer having to adjust a running style to suit the shoe they're wearing. Interesting. So that's all the fun facts I have about ASICs. Um, leave me a comment below. What did you think? Was there anything that I missed? Maybe something I probably botched, who knows? I'm pretty good at that. But uh, yeah, I hope, hope this was inter in entertaining to you. I hope it was uh, informative. I learned a lot during this research on this, and um, again, go to that video that I, uh, that I uh, suggested to be in the description below, check it out, and uh, learn all about ASICS. It's a fantastic company, I love them, and uh, I think you would too. So, I'm Anthony, reminding you to keep running for your best life.